This question here serves as a pretty basic introduction to the idea of momentum, which of course is defined to be m times v. But part b there also discuss um, conservation of momentum, changes in momentum, and also the vector nature of momentum. So we'll get into that. Part a is pretty basic. They're just trying to find the momentum of the box with respect to the floor as it gets carried by the skater. So presumably the velocity of the box is the same as that of the skater traveling horizontally with respect to the floor. So we can work out the magnitude first because that's the same speed, 5 kilogram times 5 meters per second, giving you 25 kilograms meters per second. No fancy units for momentum, you just smash everything together. When it comes time to answer the question, they do ask us for momentum, and that implies they want the vector of momentum. So, so we also have to include some kind of direction information. But the question itself doesn't give us any, which is kind of strange. So we'll just say forward, whatever that means. So with the skater, etc., etc. But it is important to specify the direction somehow, because momentum is a vector quantity. In part B, the skater puts the box down. So there's a pretty poor drawing of a skater before, and then the skater puts the box down onto the ground. Presumably there's a initial velocity and a velocity afterwards. And if we want to relate these two times, you use the conservation of momentum. Initial plus change gets you the final. And the case of momentum, the change is the impulse, which is given by all the different forces times some amount of time. Now they don't give us the time in between, so that's kind of like a tip off that that might be a term we can ignore. But let's actually properly justify why we can ignore such things. As the box goes from being held by the skater to hitting the ground, in between, this box experiences a number of forces. It's going to always have mg on it. As it, as it hits the ground, it's going to have an fn, which points straight up because the surface is horizontal. As the skater holds it up somehow, somewhere, and there's no friction as it hits the ground. So if you break that down into say x and y component like that, you see that both the initial and final velocity is in the i hat, right? Whereas all these forces are in the j hat. Momentum being a vector quantity, when we add them up, you would split up the i's and the j's. Since all the forces are vertical, if we only look at the i component of this equation, there's no force that has an i component, so this middle term goes away. So then the final momentum ends up being the same as the initial momentum. It's just a somewhat long-winded way of saying that as you put the box onto the ground, because there's no forces in the horizontal direction, it just keeps on going with constant velocity, right? Back to Newton's first law. So we can just paste in the exact same line as before in part A, and then there's our answer. So quick introduction to momentum, its unit, which is kilograms meters per second, and then a little bit of discussion on the vectorial nature of momentum.